Hello guys, it's Nathan from CNN Online and today we're looking at something different again. Once again on the theme of technology, we're looking at the MyGuard wireless smartphone alarm, the G5 model. We don't usually do alarms, we're trying tech out and this is an awesome little product. Now in our area we've had a spate of burglaries, so this is something we really wanted to test out and put to the test. So it came through today and we're going to do an unboxing and see what you get inside. So straight up it gives you the customer support helpline so you can easily set this up. Okay, so look at the box. So the SIM card's not included, but it comes with an awesome app to link all of this together. You've got several awesome components inside. On the back, it shows you how it should be set up. We'll further look at that in a moment. So let us open this bad boy and see. So congratulations on your purchase of the G5. Unboxing a love tech, I realize that a lot of them say congratulations. We should feel good for buying it. <laughs> Okay, so inside, ah, I'm used to this. We got a massive, nice wad of instructions. Now, they're actually a lot lighter than I thought. I thought it was going to have a really big book of instructions here. So, got several parts here. So, we have the actual interface itself. And, two compartments. So, how do we do this? Okay, let's look at the main alarm first, and then we'll get back to the box and see how it goes. So, Go, we'll open this. Just uh, it's stuck together. I should have expected it to be stuck together. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, it's very light. I expected this to be a little higher. There. It's off camera. It's coming back now. There we go. So this is the actual user face. There we go. Very very neat. So we got the lock. You can see me. Hi guys. Lock. Our phone numbers. I'm guessing this is so we can dial outside of the house. And you've got. I'm guessing the wireless indicator. Okay. And on the back, the speaker and the mount and your warranty details so let's put that in the background I want it to stand up, it's not going to stand up oh there you go, we've actually found a place for it so I'm going to show you how to set this up and show you what it looks like around the house so do not fret, if you're looking at buying an alarm we're going to walk you through this so first up in the box we have the AC unit so there, that will plug in nicely, we'll get that in a sec and you've got Two keys with a lock, unlock, SOS, and home feature. Some safety polystyrene. I do love my polystyrene. Not quite sure what the actual white bit is. I think that's kind of like a key rack and similar thing, but there's two of the mini key versions. And one of the window vibration systems. On this side. Here's the final bit of kit. Oh no, there's two bits. Our sensor. And up oh, part of the mount. So this is to allow us to mount it on. And the final part is, if I can get my hand in, some screw. So you get tons of little bits and to set it all up. This is a really nice little kit, we've got everything we need here. So let's have a look at every little bit individually and show you what we get in more detail. So guys, we've cut forward a little bit more, I've managed to um, unwrap everything, it's a bit easier with two hands. So, first of all, let's have a look at what we get in the box. So we have the main control panel, which we'll get back to and show you a little bit more of in a second. Then we have our desk stand, which comes here. So I'll put things off camera when we've looked at them. So this is our desk stand. Similarly, we have the wall stand now. Now this is what I thought was a keychain or key rack earlier, so therefore mounting your control panel. Next up we also have these other mount pieces which can be used to attach to the control panel. So, obviously we have our screws, tons of screws. Let's not misplace them. And you've got your sticky protectors. And you've got two of them, one large and one small. So, the next big thing is the wireless door and window sensors, which are these. So these attach on to the glass and they can pick up vibrations and movement and will alert the main control panel to any changes. Next up is this bad boy, the wireless pet friendly PIR, PIR sorry, motion sensor. Now, the good thing about this alarm is it's not supposed to be able to pick up pets. Thankfully, we have a cat in the house so we can test if this actually works. Our cat roams the house all night, so let's hope he doesn't keep us up. 
Then we have two of the RFID tags, which are these little small things. Now, these can be put onto your keys, which is really useful, and you can tap onto the control panel when you come home, and it will send a message to the main administrator's text or phone number, and alert them who's come home. So I can name this one Fred, and when Fred comes home, I'll get a text message on my phone saying Fred has come home. So you can tell who's disarming the alarm. Then you get two of the remote controls. Now, this is more useful alongside with the phone app. It's got similar features but you can turn the alarm on or off, or you can instantly get an SOS sent. So if you hear a burglar in the house and you're upstairs, and this is on your keys, simply tap SOS and you can get the alarm ready to go off. And then the power socket for the main control panel. Obviously we have instructions, and quick setup guide, look at that, that is massive. Okay, so let's have a closer look at the control panel now. So. Here is the control panel. It's still got the sticky uh, kind of protector on. I'm going to leave that on and we'll set it up shortly. But let's do the rest of the unboxing. So at the top is our network indicator. Now you can actually put a SIM card into the control panel. I was wrong earlier when I said Wi-Fi. This is your network. So you put a SIM card in so that the control panel can do its thing. Now this is a touch screen. So this is where you tap the password. So let's say the password is 1234. You just tap the control panel to enter your password. Here is your status indicator. So this is where we can see if it's armed or not armed. I'm assuring there's gonna be a light or something so we can tell what's what. This is the RFID tag reader. So here is where we tap in to disable the alarm. Here this button, we can call a different phone number. So it can be used as a phone, um, to phone the police as such. You can arm it with the lock button, disarm it with that button there and the home mode button can be found here and you can also record a voice message so if someone does come in it can send a message to the administrator's phone or any other phone number needed so someone can come check on you for example your neighbors you can leave an emergency message for on the back let's carefully put that down we have the microphone which is just on the side here you can see And then we have the tamper switch, which is the black switch there. And the loudspeaker on this side. And in here, if I can get it, I might need to have tools to get in this. Well, we'll need a screwdriver to get into that bit, so we'll look at that bit when we're doing the actual setup with the alarm system. So that is the control panel, which you'll get. It looks really classy, quite thin, very stylish. That looks really nice, you can just put it up on the wall. And all will do its job, which I think is awesome. Well, guys, that's been our first look and unboxing of the MyGuard G5 wireless smartphone alarm system. Now, there is a G5 app which I'll show off when we're actually setting up the alarm because that's part of the actual setup process. Though, for now, this is just to show you what you'll get in the box. All details will be in the description for where you can buy the product and also how much it will cost in your area. If you've got any comments down below, please do ask. We can answer any of your questions and we'll speak to you guys in the next video. Look forward to more content on the MyGuard G5 and we'll hopefully be showing you how to set up the product very, very soon. This is Nathan from CNN Online, signing off.